Today I want to show you how you can use some algebra skills that you probably already have to help you to answer questions that you might have thought were beyond you, that were just too difficult. And these are the kinds of questions that come up regularly in the GCSE exam. In fact, all the examples I'm using today are taken from past papers. So a bit of practice here may well make a significant difference to the final mark you get in your exam. Now in order to answer the kinds of questions that we're going to be looking at today, you do need to have some basic algebra skills. You need to be able to solve equations like this or like this. If you can't do that, I will definitely at some point be putting up a video showing you how to do that. But you may well find that just by following today's video through, it's enough to sort of to get you by or to remind you how to do those. So, what I'm talking about today is forming equations to solve problems. We're going to be using equations, we're going to be using algebra as a tool to help us to answer these difficult questions. We're going to be making algebra our friend to help us through these. I know that sounds crazy, it is possible and I want to show you how to do that today. Now, I, so I've said that we're going to be forming equations. Well, all an equation is, is saying that one thing is equal to another. 2 add 3 is equal to 5. That's an equation. It's a very simple equation and admittedly we tend to think of an equation as having letters in, don't we? But, you know, strictly speaking, all an equation is is one thing is equal to another. And that is the whole premise of what we're going to be doing today. Let's get into a question so that I can illustrate what I'm talking about. So this is a reasonably straightforward example. You may well have seen something like this before. We need to find the length of one side of the square, but at first glance that seems impossible to do because although we've been given the lengths of two sides, they both involve letters. Neither of them are telling us what the length is numerically. All we have to do though is set up an equation which we can then solve. And because it's a square, we know that all sides will have the same length. Therefore, 4x add 5 will be equal to 6x minus 2. They're both exactly the same length. They're just two different ways of describing the same length. So we could write that as an equation. 4x add 5 is equal to 6x minus 2. Now we have an equation that we can solve. Whenever I'm solving this type of equation with unknowns on both sides, with, you know, with letters on both sides of the equal sign, I always start by looking to see which side has the least number of x's or you know, whatever the letter is, and I remove that from both sides of the equation. So in this example, I'll subtract 4x from both sides. And now I have 5 is equal to 2x minus 2. I'll add 2 to both sides to give me 7 is equal to 2x. And then the final step, divide both sides by 2 so that we end up with x equals 3.5 or 3.5. We can even check our answer by substituting that 3.5 back into the question. If we've done it correctly, if we substitute it into both of the lengths that they gave us algebraically, it should give us the same answer. So if we substitute that in, we get 4 times 3.5, which is 14. We add 5, that makes 19. So one length is 19. The other side is 6x, so 6 times 3.5, which is 21. Take away 2, well that's also 19, so both sides are 19. That tells us that we must have done this correctly. So whenever we know that two things are equal, we can set up a little equation to help us to solve the problem. And you already know how to solve equations, so it's just a case of recognizing when you can apply them to a particular situation. Let's look at a second example. Before I go through this, I would urge you to have a go yourself, pause the video, and I'll go through it in just a second. Here we're being asked to find the size of the smallest angle. Well, let's find the size of all the angles and then at the end we can establish which one is the smallest. So in this case, we know the value of all the angles. It's a triangle, so they're gonna to add to 180 degrees. And we could also describe those angles algebraically. Well, and we've got that 90 degree angle there as well, haven't we? So we can use all of that to form an equation and it will look like this. 7x add 5x add 18 add 90 is going to be equal to 180. Now all we've got to do is to solve that equation 
Um, so we can start by simplifying that left hand side. We'll put the x's together and the numbers together to give us 12x at 108 is equal to 180. Now we can subtract 108 from both sides to give us 12x is equal to 72. And then finally just divide both sides by 12 to tell us that x is equal to 6. We're pretty much done now. We need to go back and substitute those back into the original question to find out the exact size of each of the angles. So the first angle, the 7x, well that's just going to be 7 times 6, which is 42. So that angle is 42 degrees. The second one, 5x add 18, well 5 times 6 is 30, add 18 is 48. So that's 48. So we've got 42 degrees, 48 degrees. We can double check we got it all correct as well because if we add the 90 degrees it should give us 180 and it does. So the smallest angle is the 7x which is 42 degrees. Are you seeing the idea? Even though the questions aren't telling us what to do, they're not telling us to solve an equation, but as soon as we can see that we can say that one thing is equal to another thing, we can set up an equation and then we can solve the problem. Let's look at a final example. This is taken from uh, the June 2018 Edexcel exam. Uh, again, it's, it looks slightly different and it's not immediately obvious that we can solve this in the same way as we did the others, but we can. Uh, it's almost identical actually. So as before, pause the video, uh, see if you can have a go on your own and I'll go through it in just a second. We know three of the angles here, 115 degrees, 125 degrees and the 90 degree angle as well. And the fact that it's a five sided shape, a pentagon, tells us that those angles, as they do for all pentagons, will add to 540 degrees. And we're told that one of the missing angles, BCD, is twice as big as one of the other missing ones, the ABC. Um, so we could describe them using algebra as x for that smaller angle and 2x for the large one. It's just twice as big. So if one's x, the one that's twice as big, we could describe that as 2x. All we've got to do then is just form an equation exactly as we did do in the previous two questions. And, you know, we're, we're done pretty much. So we could say that 115 add 125 add 90 add x add 2x is going to be equal to 540 that simplifies down to 330 add 3x is equal to 540 all we've got to do now is subtract 330 from both sides to give us that 3x is equal to 210 and then the final step divide both sides by 3 to give us x is equal to 70. So x is equal to 70 degrees. We could check our workings at this stage by adding up all the angles that we have and checking that they do indeed add to 540, which they do. So that's it, how you can use algebra skills that you already have to help you to answer difficult problems. The examples I went through today are definitely not exhaustive. You may well come across questions that look quite different but that you can use the exact same skills for. So don't forget what you're looking for is to be able to set up an equation, to be able to say that this thing is equal to this thing. And if you can do that, you can set up the equation, you can solve the equation, boom, you've done it. Get the marks, move on to the next question. Right, I really hope you found the video useful. If you did, I would be hugely appreciative of a thumbs up, or if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so or sharing the video with your friends. It is all really, really useful for the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.